This video shows NXP solution for field oriented control, also known as vector control, on the LPC 1800. The LPC 1800 is one of NXP's newest microcontrollers containing an ARM Cortex M3 and lots of peripherals, including a motor control PWM and state configurable timer. Together with NXP, Embedded Artists developed a motor control board that is suited for various types of motor control. You can drive a stepper motor, a brush SDC with hall sensors or sensorless, and you are also able to drive field-oriented control, sensored or sensorless. The board contains a shunt for each phase to measure the in-phase currents, and also one bus shunt to measure the total bus current. Besides that, the board has a braking circuit, temperature sensor, and a connector for LPC Expresso and Embed. For this field-oriented control demo, we are using the NXP LPC1800 evaluation board, which makes use of the special motor control connector. For easy and rapid development, NXP is creating a motor control library which will support all types of motor control. This motor control library is supported by a GUI, supporting adjustment of all motor control settings. All motor-specific PID values and calibration values can be stored in an XAML file that can be opened and saved from the file menu. In the edit menu you can adjust the COM settings and select the right COM port. You can enable the connection by clicking the connect button. Once connected the blue connection icon will indicate bus traffic. The control is disabled by default. You can enable motor control by clicking the control enabled checkbox. PID settings for the quadrature and direct axis can be adjusted on the Q&I PID controller tab. When enabling the speed PID, the quadrature axis set point is overruled by the speed controller. On the second tab, the speed PID can be adjusted. New settings are directly transmitted to the board. On the third tab, there is an option to control the PWM manually to get a better understanding of the space vector model. The visual model can either be synced with the demo board or set to auto-rotate and transmit the corresponding PWM values to the board. This is particularly useful when shifting the PWM phases asynchronously for single shunt operation. The calibration tab provides a solution to adjust the ADC calibration values. The phase current offset and gain can be adjusted. When connecting a motor for the first time, this tab also provides a button for auto calibration of the quarter chain coder. And coder settings can also be adjusted manually. Another indispensable feature of the GUI is the ability to view real-time data. When opening the scope window, the signal for each channel can be selected in the channel dropbox. The button of an enabled channel has the same color as the signal in the graph. The range for each channel can be selected manually or set automatically. A rising or falling edge trigger function can be set on a specific channel and the trigger level can be adjusted in the scope. The last feature of the GUI is a data logger, which is able to log specific signals. Multiple signals can be selected by adding column separators. The correct signal can be selected using the signal dropbox. Future versions of the GUI in combination with the motor control library will also support other types of motor control on different ARM Cortex microcontroller families. Thanks for watching this video. For more information check out the NXP website www.nxp.com.